every Xenoblade Chronicles game in the series is the best Xenoblade Chronicles game. Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition is the best Xenoblade game. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is the best Xenoblade game. Xenoblade Chronicles 3, in my humble personal opinion, is the greatest Xenoblade game of all time. And to many people, Xenoblade Chronicles X is in fact the best Xenoblade game in the series. But how does this make sense? Let's talk about that today. Hey guys, Nishquick here, and today I'm going to make the case that every single Xenoblade Chronicles game in the Xenoblade series is the best, and that just goes to show you the consistency and the quality of each of the four games in this series. And yes, to all the Xenoblade X fans, I will be talking about Xenoblade Chronicles X in this video. So if you're a fan of Xenoblade Chronicles, if you're a fan of one of the best Nintendo franchises of all time and Model of Soft's amazing work, I would love and really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe for more Xenoblade Chronicles content like this because it's been a while since I made a video on one of my favorite video game franchises. And while you're at it, why not check out channel memberships because I have some awesome perks for you Nintendo and RPG fans if you join as a member. Anyways, let's get started. Xenoblade Chronicles 1 is the best Xenoblade Chronicles game. That's what a lot of people say, and I still hear it today. 14 years later, since the original release of Xenoblade Chronicles on the Wii in Japan, now around 12 years since the game came out in the West because of Operation Rainfall. I have so many friends and even a few family members who still talk to me today about how impactful this game was back in 2012 when they first got to play it on the Wii and how tough it was to get it from GameStop since they were the only retailer selling it. Xenoblade 1 is just so iconic. Whenever you see that Monado, whenever you hear that music, whenever you see that box art, you just know how epic and amazing of an experience you're getting yourself into. Xenoblade 1 also has one of the best settings in all of video games, like which other game takes place on the back of two ginormous gargantuan titan-like gods, the Bionis, where all the organic and natural life lives on, and Mechonis, where all the mechanical and robot life lives on. It's such a genuinely creative place for a video game to take place. And it's just amazingly executed. You're walking up the Bionis leg, you get onto the Bionis back, and you eventually get all the way up to the Bionis's head, cross its arm over the Mechonis's sword, and end up on the Mechonis. It's such a cool, genius idea for a game. Xenoblade Chronicles 1 also has an amazing, genuinely edge of your seat epic story and the ending of this game really sets up the roots for what the rest of the Xenoblade series is going to be. You can even argue that Xenoblade 1 is the most approachable game in the series. I often say so as well. It doesn't have a lot of superfluous mechanics, it's just easy to pick up and play and get into. And what I love about the combat system is each of the characters in the game plays differently from the others. And of course, you can pick your favorites and stick with your favorites, but if you keep mixing up your party, it's gonna be a very fresh and unique and new experience every time you get into combat. And for those reasons, I gotta say, Xenoblade Chronicles 1 slash Xenoblade Definitive Edition is the best game in the Xenoblade Chronicles series. Oh, I also forgot to mention, it has best girl Melia, so obviously, best Xenoblade game, hands down. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is the best Xenoblade Chronicles game. Many people think this, even to this day after Xenoblade Chronicles 3. And here's an interesting story. When I first started to get into Xenoblade Chronicles, the first game I played was Definitive Edition. Very good introduction to the series. But I would hear so many people saying so many negative, so many bad things about Xenoblade 2, and I was like, 
dang, I'll never play this game. It sounds like a horrible experience. But now that I've really immersed myself in this world, now that I really immersed myself with these characters, with the lore, with this saga, I'm seeing so much positivity around Xenoblade 2. Of course there's going to be negativity, of course there's going to be toxicity, but Xenoblade 2 is an experience I will never, ever, ever forget. There are some moments in Xenoblade 2 that really, really got me to tear up, really got me emotional, and it really is a game that reminds me of myself. But let's talk about, generally, what makes Xenoblade 2 the best Xenoblade game. It brought so many new fans to the series, and it's still the highest selling game in the Xenoblade Chronicles series. It has a phenomenal combat system, which has aged pretty well in my opinion, and it's a very unique combat system you've never seen in any other JRPG. The blade system is a very unique take on gacha. Even though it is gacha, it is randomized, it's still a very unique take on all of this, and I really enjoyed playing around with different blade setups and really expanding some of the blade affinity chart. As annoying as it could have been sometimes, it was still a lot of fun and a very unique approach to game design. Another thing is Allrest itself is a beautiful and expansive and just mystical and magical world that I love to explore. I personally slightly prefer it over Bionis and Mechonis, and that's because there's so many civilizations, so many worlds, so many towns, so many different biomes that you can explore within the Cloud Sea, within Allrest, on all these different titans, and that just makes it really stand out as one of the best games in the series. Xenoblade 2 has one of the best characters in JRPG history. I love Nia, I love Zeke, I love Morag. Rex is one of my favorite characters ever, one of my favorite protagonists. And by the end of this game, you're just so attached to everyone. Pyra, Mithra, Gramps, Poppy, even silly little Tora. You love everyone to death in this amazing cast of characters. And Xenoblade 2 has some really profound, impactful, and touching themes, and the narrative really just really goes places. You have themes about friendship, love, camaraderie, dealing with the past, dealing with troubled emotions, moving forward and really overcoming really tough situations in life. And I guess just being the light at the end of the tunnel, always having that sense of optimism and positivity. That's what I really took away from Xenoblade 2 and those are lessons and those are messages that I'll keep with me for the rest of my life, honestly. And to top it all off, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 has my favorite OST and my favorite soundtrack in all of video games, so that makes it one of my favorite games of all time. Also, not to mention, Xenoblade 2 has a fantastic DLC prologue, Torn of the Golden Country, which fixes some of the blemishes of the gameplay and the combat and adds a lot of new and interesting context into the world of Allrest. Even after Xenoblade 3 came out, I really couldn't believe that people were still saying Xenoblade 2 is the best. Even though Xenoblade 3 fixed so many things in my opinion, has so many better things in my opinion, I still couldn't believe that people still preferred the blade system, still preferred the combat, the gameplay of Xenoblade 2. But when I really sat down to think about it, it made sense. Like, some of the feelings you get with a game like Xenoblade 2, I've never gotten those feelings, I've never gotten that level of emotion in any other video game I've ever experienced, Xenoblade 1 and Xenoblade 3 included. And that really sets Xenoblade 2 apart. The feeling of accomplishing a tough boss battle with blade combos and fusion combos. The feeling of seeing that beautiful, impactful, emotional ending. The feeling of going on this adventure with some amazing characters. That's a feeling that no other Xenoblade game really got close to replicating. And that's what makes a series so great. Each game truly stands on its own. Like I said in the intro of this video, in my opinion, Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is the best Xenoblade Chronicles game and my personal favorite. 
Here's a bit of trivia for me. Xenoblade 3 is probably my third favorite video game of all time. It has every single thing I look for in a video game and a JRPG. A beautiful, boundless world. An amazing cast of characters. A beautiful, impactful, moving OST and soundtrack. An addicting gameplay loop. Awesome, awesome combat. And a story that left me on the edge of my seat. Xenoblade 3 takes everything I guess wrong from Xenoblade 1 and Xenoblade 2 and fixes it and improves it and makes it much more refined and much more approachable. It is without a doubt the most approachable Xenoblade game with good tutorials, very good onboarding and very adequate handholding when it comes to learning the mechanics. It has a very interesting combat system that requires you to utilize all your characters at once in tandem and that was very 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 well done and to me i think it takes a lot of the things that worked in the other xenoblade games and utilizes it in this game to make a truly awesome experience and like i said the story is phenomenal it takes you in some very dark and dreary places but I really appreciated that. It is easily the darkest game in the series, and it explores these dark, depressing, and even at times uncomfortable themes in a very good and very impactful and very smart and clever way. I really appreciate the storytelling and the symbolism in Xenoblade 3 and how it brings together the worlds of Xenoblade 1 and 2 and even the themes of Xenoblade 1 and 2 to tell its own unique narrative. You see, a lot of people expected Xenoblade 3 to be Avengers Endgame or like Spider-Man No Way Home where everyone just comes together and it's the big shebang, the big crossover, but I think that's missing out on the fact that Xenoblade 3 in itself has a really great, really gripping, really moving, and unique individualistic story to it. And of course, it ties back into Xenoblade 1 and 2. Of course, it has the callbacks, especially in Future Redeemed, but I really appreciate the story that was told in Xenoblade 3, because I was hesitant to recommend this game as the first Xenoblade game to many people, but I can see how someone can play this as their first game and still appreciate and enjoy and understand and take away a lot from the messages, the story and the themes and the characters in this game. I really appreciated and really loved the hero system in Xenoblade 3. I personally prefer it to the blade system, even though the blade system is really cool, really expansive, and adds a lot to the gameplay and the content of Xenoblade 2, I think how streamlined the hero system was in Xenoblade 3 was really nice and just really cool. I love the hero quests, I love the ascension quests, and I love how you get to really know these characters on a deeper level. and. And there's so much to say about the cast of Xenoblade 3. By the end of it, I didn't want this game to end, and that's the mark of a great JRPG cast and a great group of characters, and I could say so much about them, but that would make this video so much longer. <laughs> also, I have an entire video on this, so I won't talk about this too much, but Future Redeemed, oh my god, <laughs> Xenoblade 3 Future Redeemed is, in my opinion, so good, so phenomenal, it is the best thing Monolith Soft has ever created. Check out that video up there in the notification bar, I'll probably be linked in the description below as well, but check that out for more context on that. So I knew you guys were waiting for this part, so here it goes. Xenoblade Chronicles X is the best Xenoblade Chronicles game. And just a little disclaimer, I have still yet to complete the main story of Xenoblade Chronicles X, but... I've spent a good amount of time in this game doing main story, side quests, affinity quests, frontier nav missions, and just honestly riding around and flying around in my skill. And I have to say, what this game does better than any other game in the series and better than most other modern games is the open world traversal. Riding around, walking around, 
and flying around in your skill, which is basically like your giant mech, feels so good and I want to give you guys perspective on the people who have yet to play the game. You can start from one side of the map in New LA and go all the way to the other side of the map flying in your skill given the fact that you have the right amount of skill fuel, you don't get knocked out of the sky, anything like that, but the point is zero loading screens zero loading times into new regions and new continents of the map and guess what all of this is running on the dingy old dead wii u the world design world traversal and just open world of this game is better than any other xenoblade chronicles game in the franchise of course bionis and Makanis. All rest Ionios might be more iconic locations and more iconic worlds than something like Mira, but Mira has it in that game design, in that world design, in that level design, and in that traversal department. It is top notch. And I will say this one thing about Xenoblade Chronicles X Xenoblade Chronicles X walked, drove, and flew so that The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild could sell <laughs> 30 million times more than Xenoblade X did. <laughs> so I'm gonna remind you guys one more time, if this game ever comes out on the Switch, do your due diligence and support this masterpiece. Support the first ever open world game officially made by Nintendo. Another thing that I love so much about Xenoblade Chronicles X is the character progression and the character building. This game, arguably, gameplay-wise, is the most diverse and the most expansive in the series. The way you can build your character is very malleable. You have so many different classes for your avatar and for your other party members as well and equipping the right skills equipping the right arts mastering the use of certain arts and weapons is a very interesting gameplay loop to get behind and it leads to so many more hours of experimentation customization and menu management <laughs> that's one thing i hope is fixed in a possible future definitive edition of this game the combat is also great and ties directly back to the character customization in this game if you have the right setup the right loadout the right gear weapons arts and skills you can dish out some amazing and awesome overdrive combos and just talking about a lot of this stuff is reminding me that I need to get back and do my due diligence and complete the main story of this game, hopefully live on stream, maybe I'll set up a stream sometime later on in the year, I'll finally complete this game whenever I get around to doing that. So that wraps everything up. Every single Xenoblade Chronicles game is the best in the series. And the reason I got the idea for this video is I asked so many of my friends what is your favorite Xenoblade Chronicles game? And I got so many different responses. I know a lot of people who 100% say, even though some of the other games might be better, Xenoblade 1 is my favorite. It has that special place in my heart. And I really respect that. Xenoblade 1 has a very special place in the world of Nintendo and JRPGs. And there are many of my friends who still consider Xenoblade 2 to not only be their favorite Xenoblade game, but their favorite game of all time. And that's really interesting. I never saw it that way, but the more I thought about Xenoblade 2 after I completed it, and after I learned more about what Xenoblade 3 was doing, I had a newfound, really deep appreciation for that game. Xenoblade 3, even though it has a lot of the highlights and does things really well, there are some people who didn't vibe with some of the open world, some of the towns, some of the characters, and some of the story beats, and that was interesting to realize as well, how sometimes one of the best games in the series can often be the most flawed in some areas as well. And I hope I gave you guys some insight onto how amazing Xenoblade Chronicles X is. And 
I see so many responses on Twitter, on Discord, talking to my friends, just talking to people in general about the Xenoblade Chronicles series, hearing about which games they like, which games they dislike, and it's really interesting and like I said in the beginning of the video, it just goes to show how consistently amazing this franchise of gaming really is. If you haven't given Xenoblade Chronicles the series a shot, I really urge you to give it a shot. It's one of my favorite video game franchises, one of the best stories I've ever experienced in a game, and overall has everything I personally look for in a video game. And that's going to end it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I missed talking about Xenoblade. I've had a very big break in talking about Xenoblade on the channel and I really wanted to get back and make another just chill, casual Xenoblade Chronicles discussion video. So let me know in the comments below what your favorite Xenoblade Chronicles game is. Is it 1, 2, 3, or X, or one of the DLCs? Let me know in the comments down below. Give this video a like, subscribe for more content like this, and join as a member for some additional Niche Quick Pops perks. This is Niche Quick signing off. Have a great day. Go play some great games today. Like a Xenoblade Chronicles game? They're all on the Nintendo Switch, unfortunately, except for Xenoblade X, which will hopefully come very soon. I'll see you guys in the next one later. Hey guys, this is Nishquick. Thank you so much for watching that video. And if you enjoyed it, check out these videos on the left. And if you haven't subscribed, why not hit the subscribe button on the way out and consider joining as a Niche Quick Pops member for some awesome additional Nintendo and JRPG related perks. And special shout out to my Aegis tier members, Durzel Blint, AD2014, and Sam Talks Games. I couldn't have done this without you guys. Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.